Hey guys, welcome back to another video of, um, well, you know. Anywho, I'm going to be doing a deck profile and combo of ABC and Amazement. You know, this deck is pretty good and goes well with the ABC because first, the Amazement doesn't really have a lot of like, you know, like special summoning other than Arlequino. And to be honest with you, Delia doesn't seem like a good card in this deck, even though it came out in the um, Madonna Majesty. I just don't really like playing it because it's kind of kind of sad because if I either draw the Delia or Kamika, I'd rather draw the Kamika in my opinion. So that's about it. And let's be going on to the ABC and Amazement. Let's go. So first, okay, so first we're getting the ABC and the Amazement first, so obviously you're going to have to get three Arlequinos. This card is like the boss of the deck other than ABC Dragon Buster, and then, you know, three Arlequinos. But basically what he does is that you can, you can special summon him by activating a trap, and he special summons, and then when you're putting normal summon, special summon a monster, then you get equipped the opponent monster with a trap card from the deck. It's really, really good. So I played three of them because he's pretty easy to summon and he's really good. Moving on, we're going to be using three Kamikas. Kamika basically when you normal summon or special summon her, you get to go ahead and add an amazement trap card from the deck and set it. It can be any trap card, for example, like Whorehouse and Sock, anywho, stuff like that. So, three Kamikas and three Arlequinos. Let me try and make this smaller. Yeah, okay. So, the next, okay. Now, next, we're going to be moving into the ABC. So, you're going to be needing three Assault Core, three Buster Drake, and three Crush Wyvern. Because, one, Assault Core says that if you go, if this card is sent to the graveyard, then you can add one ABC monster from the, from the graveyard back to your hand. And Buster Drake does the same thing, but it adds from the deck to your hand. And Crush Wyvern says that if this card sends to the graveyard, then you get to special summon one ABC monster from the deck. I mean, from the hand to the field, which is a pretty good combo starter, and I'll be showing you that like at the end of the video, basically. So, three Assault Core. Oh my, oh my gosh, I'm not prepared. Three Assault Cores, three Buster Drakes, and three Crush Wyverns. Crush Wyvern is a really good card and basically all the ABC, so that's why I run through them. Second, again, I mean, um, whatever, this is like fifth or something, I don't know. But Union Driver, you need two Union Drivers, because if you draw him, then he's a brick in your hand. And second, basically, all he does is that if you equip him to somebody, which will be an amazing part of our combo, if you equip him to one of the things, then you can detach, or you can banish him and equip him with and equip that monster with another card from the deck, like an appropriate one, like a Buster Drake equipped to like Crush Wyvern. It'll be make more sense later, but two Union Drivers. And now we're gonna be going on into the, um, what do you call it, Red Eyes. So one Dotscaper. Now this, you will not underestimate this card. This is an amazing card. Dotscaper says that if the card sent to the graveyard or banished, then you can special summon him from the banished realm or the graveyard. This is how to summon Dragoon. This little weirdo can summon Dragoon. Don't believe me? Stick to the end to find out. One Dotscaper. Most importantly, these two bricks in your hand for red eyes, the tribution. I don't think I need to explain that. One Alpha, the Master Beast. Basically, this card is super good. Basically, you can special summon him by, if your opponent has more attack power than you, then you can special summon this card from your hand. And second effect is that you can target one monster your opponent control and target one wing beast, beast or a beast warrior card you have, which is Alpha, and return it to the hand and return the opponent monster to the hand, which is really good. And the special summoning is not once per turn, so you can just special summon him again. So basically, you can special summon return one monster to opponent control and himself, and special summon him again. But the thing is that returning the opponent monsters once per turn. But still, it's really good. So now, we're going to be moving on to the spells. Okay, so I'm back guys, and got everything cleaned up. So, we're moving on to spells. 
three union hangers. Let me repeat that. Three union hangers! Union hanger basically says that you can act when you activate this card, you can add one appropriate union light machine monster from the deck to your hand. And basically you get to normal, and when you normal summon a light machine union monster, then you get to equip it with an appropriate target machine from light union monster from the deck and equip it to that monster. And, but that monster cannot be special summon the equipped monster. But that's okay, because if you use union driver, then you can just banish himself and so on and so on. So three union hanger, that is the combo starter. This one card can get you Dragoon, Dragon Buster, and four cards in your hand. Don't believe me? Stick to the end. Next, an opt out arise reactivation. Basically the same thing, but you can, but it's a quick play spell, and you and it does not add a light machine monster. It just equips it from the deck. So three of these, basically same thing as Union Hanger combo starter, but you need to have the card. One chair forming. I don't think I need to explain that, so that can get Union Hanger. I wish that wasn't limited though. When Red Eyes Fusion, don't need to explain. I didn't put three or two because if I draw that card, then it's really good. But most of the times when I put two or three, I draw like two of it or three of it and inside my hand. So it just becomes a, 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 br um, a brick. So three time ticket. Time ticket basically says that you can pay 800 life points. And when it's your turn, then you get to add one amazing monster from the deck to your hand. And when it's your opponent's turn, then you can set a trap card from the deck to the field and you can activate the tornado set. You have to pay 100 life points, which is really good. It's a combo starter for amazement and it goes really well with the, the, uh, the ABC because if you don't have the ABC, then you have the second best option. So we're even moving on into the trap. So let's get this all cleaned up. Okay, so you're gonna need three whorehouses, three salad coaster, and two vacuum vortex. Whorehouse says that if this card is equipped to your monster, then you can target one. Well, first off, let me get this straight. All three of these equip first to the opponent or your monster. So let me just get that straight. And you cannot, you cannot equip this to Dragoon because Dragoon cannot be targeted. And this targets and then equips. Anywho, three Whorehouse. Whorehouse says that if this card is equipped to your monster, you can target one monster your opponent's control and engage the effect until the end of this turn. And second fact is that if you equip Horas to the opponent monster, then the equipped monster, which is the opponent monster, is flipped face down. But this card will get sent to the graveyard because the the um, target is not face up. Anywho, Solo Coaster. Solo Coaster says that if this card is equipped to your monster, then you're going to target one face up spell or, or trap card your opponent's control and destroy it, including this card, including this trap card. So it equips, I mean, targets, equips, and then get destroyed because of what it says. Now, second effect of that, if this card is equipped to the opponent monster, then then you get to add one amazement monster from the deck to your hand, and this card will be sent to the graveyard afterwards. And then second is Viking Vortex. I only play two because I don't really like this. It's really good, but I don't really like playing three because it sometimes get in the way of my combo. Anywho. Like in Bartek says that if this card is equipped to your monster, then if you then during the battle phase when your opponent attacks that monster, then it you basically take no battle damage, but the equipped monster, which is your monster, is on the opponent's side of the field until the end of the battle phase. Kind of useless and disappointing, and I don't know why it said that, but it just did. Second effect is that, which is my favorite, is that when your opponent activates the card effect or when you equip this to his opponent and the opponent activates and the opponent must activate his card effect, then you can then that card that was using the effect and this card is equipped to that opponent monster, then the opponent monster will be returned to the hand. Kinda confusing, but you can just kinda read it for yourself, so it's kinda hard for me to explain. Anywho, we're gonna be going more into the hand traps. So definitely three impermanences. Because Impermanence definitely would help this deck a lot. Because first it can like a hand trap, like Ash Blossom, and basically it negates. And two, Summon Limit. Summon Limit is a really underestimated card because first off, it's kind of hard for people to get rid of this. Because if they have to use like Lightning lightning Vortex or like Lightning um, 
I forgot what that's called. Lightning storm. There we go. But they have to waste that card to destroy this card. So basically what this does is that each player can only summon two times per turn. So, which is pretty good because in my deck, I mean, the Amazement, I don't really summon much. And in the ABC, well, you're not going to activate during your turn. And you already summoned all your shenanigans. And then when it's your opponent's turn, that's when you activate it. But I would recommend you to activate it when your opponent already summoned two times so that it locks them and they can't summon anymore until the next next turn. Anywho, that would be all the traps. So let's go to the combos. Okay guys, I'm back and we're going into the extra deck. So what you need is one Herald Deeds Arclight. This card can easily be summoned by Awakening of the Dragon, which I put in my side deck because sometimes my opponent destroys my back row and sometimes they don't. So one Herald is Arclight. Definitely Dragoon. Dragoon is what definitely is what you need. Because Dragoon is basically like an unstoppable force that nobody can beat. Okay, so you're going to need one Dragoon, one Herald of Arc. Like These two are really good, and I'll be showing you later. So, One Anaconda. Verte Anaconda is really good. It can summon out Dragoon. One Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Cerberus, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Ni Nightmare Griffin. You'll be surprised because Griffin is easily summoned with the ABC deck because I'll be showing you the combo later. One Lingaribo so that you can summon Dragoon. I'll show you that later as well. Moving to the XYZs. We're going to be doing a super, super, I can't even know it. Super Dimensional Robot robot Galaxy Destroyer. This card is basically useless and I don't know, but the only reason I put it on my deck is because I use Awakening of the Dragon in my side deck. And this card has 5,000 attack. Literally. Look, let me show you guys. Five, focus, 5,000 attack. That's the only reason I play them. Because when I do Awakening of the Dragon, the opponent, like, it is just a finishing up for the game. Uh, Honor of Arc, steal their monster, equip it. And this is for just, you know, I'll explain later. Two Dragon Busters, because if I put three, then I won't have enough space. And Chimera Flesia and Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, because I put Super Poly in my side deck, so yeah. So that'll be it for this um, extra deck. So moving on into the combos. Okay guys, I'm back with the combo. So all you need is one Union Hanger. This card is really good because it adds and it can equip from the deck. So I put these cards face down because imagine these are four bricks in your hand, okay? Four bricks. And potentially hand traps, imperm, or even, you know what, a, another combo starter for next turn. Because these four cards are basically useless or tributes for Dragoon. So imagine these were four useless cards. Okay, so let's get started. So first you're going to activate Union Hanger, correct? Union Hanger ability. Go ahead and add your Buster Drake. Normal summon your Buster Drake. Union Hanger ability. Go ahead and equip with Union Driver. But Hanger says that you can't special summon Union Driver, but can't say that you can't banish it. So Union Driver ability is that you can banish Union Driver and equip it with Wyvern. Go ahead and special summon Wyvern. Cause, I mean like do you equip and then he special summons. Then go ahead and do these two for your almighty Verte. But the thing is that you're not going to have to use his ability. You're not going to use his ability because then you can't special summon anymore. So we'll be waiting. So while in the meantime, Buster Drake ability lets you go ahead and add an ABC from the deck or Union Light. ABC Assault Core. Assault Core is very important in combo. I'll show you why later. Wyvern ability says that you, the Buster Drake adds from the deck to your hand. This is your hand. Assault Core is in your hand, by the way. And Wyvern, when he's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon an ABC or Union Light from the hand. So you switch some Assault Core, then you're going to go ahead and banish all three of these cards for your almighty Buster Dragon. And that's already with one card to your Buster Dragon and about to be more. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna, an Anaconda ability, pay 2,000 to go ahead and summon him, Dragoon. Let's be real. So you're going to do, so Anaconda ability, pay 2,000 banish all your or center your or whatever it says and you're gonna go and destroy i mean ugh, banish or whatever not it says 
your your book causes like for example like red eyes fusion red eyes bee dragon and dark magician and summon dragoon so this is what you have from one card gerald one card so when you activate Union Hanger and the Ash Blossom disc, it's okay. You have four cards in your hand. So it's pretty good and your backup cards are in your hand. So what did we get from one Union Hanger? We got Buster Dragon, Anaconda, and Dragoon. And four cards in your hand. Now that is how to destroy people. So let's move on to the next combo. Okay. Okay guys, this is back with the same combo. So basically all you need is one dot scaper, okay? Just imagine that these these four cards are bricks in your hand. Imagine all four of these cards like three dark ruler no more and um I don't know, a dark magician or something, okay? And imagine these are all bricks in your hand, okay? So what you did is Gnom some dot scaper, link off dot scaper for Lingaribo. That is an actual thing because he is a cybers level one, so he's level he's lower than level four. Then when Dotscaper sent to graveyard, special summon Dotscaper, link these two humans and this card's banished. And then you're gonna go ahead and go into your Verte. I think you know I think you guys know where this is going. Verte pay ability, pay two thousand, banish all your causes, and Dragoon. Yep. Dotscaper did that, not me. Dragoon. First turn, four cards in your hand, boom, bala bang. So this this is a pretty easy combo. I would suggest putting three, but if you accidentally draw two of them, then he becomes a brick. And even if you do discard him for a dragoon, then you can't special summon again. And that's my point. Anywho, that is the first, I mean second combo. So let's move on to the third one. Okay guys, next combo is gonna be with two cards this time. Unauthorized reactivation and let's say Buster Drake or A Assault Core or Crush Wyvern. Anywho, what you're gonna do is that when you have you're gonna have to get Buster Drake and re unauthorized reactivation. So what you're gonna do is normal summon Buster Drake, activate unauthorized reactivation, go ahead and equip him with the Union Driver. Union driver ability, go ahead and equip him with your I mean, banish Union Driver and equip Buster Drake with your Wyvern. Uh, special Summon Wyvern, because first of all, Reactivation says that you can't Special Summon Union Driver, but you banish Union Driver and equip it with Crush Wyvern. So it's not the same card that was equipped to Buster Drake, so you can Special Summon him. Now, you're going to go ahead and do these two. I'm going to link them off for your Verte. This is basically the same thing as the same combo from before, but better. I mean, like, with, like, one more card basically but you still have three cards in hand so summon verte uh first buster drake is gonna let you go ahead and add your assault core to your hand wyvern lets you special summon your assault core then you're gonna banish all these things bala boom bala bam go ahead and go ahead and go into your no no your verte you're gonna go ahead into your buster dragon anaconda ability Boom, Dragoon, pay 2,000, banish or whatever you have, and boom, three cards in your hand, two of the best cards, and Buster Dragon can basically self-destruct himself, summon all three of you banish, and go into your potatoes, and second of all, Buster Dragon, banish, destroy one of your, or just destroy one of your opponent monster, Dragoon, negate, destroy both your, monster, your opponent monsters, and boom, Three cards, three cards negation for Dragoon, even though he can only do it once per turn. And boom! Now this is what you need in your deck. So let's be real here. This is from just two cards, get you this. The first combo, you only need one Union Hanger, get you basically this as well, but four cards in your hand. And the second combo, with only one Dot Scaper, got you a Dragoon. So I think this is why deck is really good with the ABC and the Amazement. Because the Amazement is really, really um, unspecial summon worthy. But when you add your things, your combos like this, you can summon Dragoon and Buster Dragon. And when you do the Amazement with it, it's even better. Because you these three cards or four cards earlier could possibly hand traps or traps like Amazement traps. Or even better, like impermanence or something. So this is why I really like this deck with the, with the ABC and the uh, Amazement. 
So I'd recommend you do that. And I'll be on my way to destroy some people. See you next time. And remember, potatoes are yummy.